distribution reliability. So today's class, we will discuss distribution reliability. Following are the some importances, some importance or uses of studying reliability. The first one is analyze and improve system performance. And next one, enhance customer satisfaction as a tool for planning expansion of the systems. Next one is maintenance, scheduling and resource allocation. So let us discuss first one, analyze and improve system performance. Reliability here, under this, reliability assessment helps in the identification of weak areas in terms of frequency of failing and duration of failure of the system. This speaks about analyze and improve system form performance. Next is enhance customer satisfaction. That is nothing but customer satisfaction is prime important. Reliability helps in identifying potential load points with poor reliability and take necessary action to retain customer satisfaction. Next is as a tool for planning expansion of the system. Growing energy need and load requires expansion and development of existing system. Reliability models help the utility to compare the various proposed projects and choose best one. Last one is maintenance, scheduling and resource allocation. Distribution systems are comprised of thousands of components that tend to fail and require maintenance. Reliability centered maintenance is a technique that utilizes used to schedule maintenance and resource allocation. The main steps for reliability analysis is the important steps one by one for system reliability evaluation can be described. The first one is define the system, whether it's failure rate, like etc. Next one is define the failure criteria. Next one, consider the suitable assumption. Next, prepare system model. Next, perform failure model analysis. Next, calculate reliability modules. Next, analyze the results. Lastly, prepare reliability improvement plans. A reliability analysis can be done only when proper and reliable data of failure rate and repair times of different components are available. Next, let us focus on reliability aids. First one is mastering information. Everything in universe is energy and information. Aggregated data is information and information helps to take decisions. Information is such a resource that can be utilized to use all other resources in the best possible manner. Example, a decision to replace a substation transformer will be based upon an aggreg aggregation of loading data. As we organize the information, we deepen our scientific understanding of the system and use information for transferring, for transforming the process of production and services with the help of information technology. The enterprise will be more dynamic, integrated, effective, and responsible. For useful deployment of IT, the following points has to be considered. First one, does IT connect various activities of whole organization? Second one, is the information system centrally managed and compatible throughout? Third one, is the information network widely accessible? Fourth one, does it capture relevant and useful information? Fifth one, does it convert help to make accurate and fact-based decisions? Sixth one, does information system allows to know consumers well? These are the few points useful deployment of IT. Next, we have to consider the same, the reliability aids. One of the most, I mean, second reliability aid is system configuration. System configuration plays a very important role in reliability for system continuity considering long outages and momentary interruptions. The better system reliability is all rated the following order of merit. First one, grid network. Second, spot network. 
third secondary selective, fourth primary selective, fifth primary loop, sixth radial. The next reliability and last reliability aid is standardization. It is necessary to evolve planning, design, operation and maintenance, material, constructional and instructional standards, codes in respect of the following with regular reviews and updating. First one is specification for the equipment of mass utilization. For example, distribution transformers, cable, etc. Second one, constructional standards for installing various equipment connections. For example, tapping arrangement for 11 kV line, sagging and fuse mounting arrangement. Third one, manuals for the guidance of the field staff. Fourth one, training institutes need to be well established. Fifth one, Software packages for different computer studies should be standardized. Sixth one, accurate system diagrams are essential for reliable operations. So these are the few points which comes under reliability aids.